Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'll be installing AdGuard Home on Windows 11. AdGuard Home is used for ad blocking, privacy protection, and online security. It has filters that will block unwanted content such as advertisements, trackers, or malicious websites. When your computer tries to access a domain with unwanted content, AdGuard Home will prevent you from connecting to it, also known as DNS sinkholing. AdGuard Home is free, quick to install and use. Generally, you would want to install it on the server, but if you want to try it out first, you definitely can on your Windows machine. I'm going to go download it. Google for GitHub AdGuard Home. Wiki. And supported platforms. The thing about AdGuard Home over, for example, Pyho is that it's native to Windows, so for example, you don't need to install WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux, and Docker. You can just directly download the executable on Windows. Okay, it's done extracting. Open up command prompt. Run as administrator. I'm going to go into that directory and then type in dash s install. Okay, and I can see here it's been successfully installed and will automatically start on boot. And to access the portal, here's the link. All right, this is the first time that you're running AdGuard Home. So then it's going to go through a quick setup here. So get started. I'm going to listen to all the interfaces. I'm going to keep it to default. I'm going to hit next. And then you put in the username and password for the login. All right, and normally you would put the IP address for this on your router, but I'm just going to test it out just to make sure everything's working. And just going to hit next and open up the dashboard. Okay, we're logged in and here's the dashboard. All right, and some settings that you would want to change. You go to settings, general settings. All right, and some settings that you would want to change. For example, if you have kids in the house, uh, use AdGuard Parental Control Web Service. You can check that off. And you can check off uh, use safe search. And you can check off whichever search engines you would like to use. And then logs configuration, I'll keep it as the default and statistics configuration. I'm going to keep that to 90 days and hit save. Go to settings, DNS settings. And then here are the upstream DNS servers that you can put in. So you can click here to get a list of known DNS providers. And here is AdGuard and there's Beavis DNS, there's Cisco, Cloudflare, etc. So you can get a list from there. And so I'm going to put in one from Google and one from AdGuard. I'm going to keep it default as load balancing. I'm going to test the upstreams. All right, and you can put in DNS block lists and allow lists, rewrites, and then there's also as well as block services that you have here. So you can immediately block any services, for example, Activision Blizzard, you can Disney Plus, Facebook, you got Instagram down here. So there are services that you can block right away, or you can just hit block all. So that's what's great about AdGuard Home is that you can quickly block services. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. Okay, so I'm gonna do a test here, and this is without using AdGuard Home. So if I go to CNN, so we got some advertisements here coming up. Another advertisement here. So there are ads coming up here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to now change the DNS server. So it's going to use AdGuard Home. So it's going to go and use AdGuard Home on my computer here. So this is my IP address. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to change the DNS servers. I'm going to put preferred, put it here. And hit save. Okay. 
Okay, go to CNN again and let's see if any ads come up. So no ads are coming up. And if I go back to AdGuard Home, go back to the dashboard, refresh, and you can see here it's working. So there's 303 DNS queries and 118 block by filters. And if I go block by filters and look at all of these domains that have been blocked here, as you can see, so it's working as expected. Go back to the dashboard and then you can go further down uh, the clients. You can see specific clients, how many requests, and you can see the top query domains and the top block domains. So you can see all these domains that have been blocked. And you can see the average processing time and the top upstreams. So it's working as expected. I recommend using AdGuard Home as it's quick and easy to use and has additional features that Pi-hole doesn't have. Pi-hole doesn't support DNS over HTTPS, parental controls, safe search, turning off services, or can be natively installed on Windows. There are other more advanced features AdGuard Home also has, but these are the big ones. And if you've never used anything like this before, then I recommend you try this out, which will help remove advertisements, trackers, or malicious websites. So I hope this was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.